Welcome back everyone to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Daughters of Roses Forbidden... Wait, what? <laughs> no, it isn't Daughters of the Roses, unfortunately. It is Forbidden Memory. So we're back with this. Um, at this point, I've probably... Well, I probably still haven't actually uploaded the last parts of Daughters of the Roses. Um, but, um... All in due time. So, yeah, I pretty much what I've done is... Well two things uh, I grinded off screen like I said 77 times uh, I know it seems like a lot but trust me at this point you can get decentish cards it's probably the best person to fight at this at this moment um, two I moved over to recording this on my new PC because um, I already recorded three parts already um, but I was looking on the playback on one of the videos and it kept jumping so I'm guessing that the HTBVR is having some problems um, and I can't obviously go back and I kind of don't want to really give you guys a jumpy video with commentary all over the place so I figured well now on my PC I can pretty much record um, on you know PC games and whatnot with pretty much no trouble no lag at all I thought well this is a good opportunity to show off what it can do and you know it will help me in the long run because I'll be able to grind a lot faster on the computer as well so that's how I was able to do um, grind 77 times, 77 fairly quickly. Otherwise, I probably would still be like on 30 by now, slowly getting there. So um, yeah, this is. Uh, I think I showed you the free duel. Um, as I say, I fought Simon Murray because you can get like um, all sorts of cards, like uh, Blackdown Fire Dragon, which I've got. You can get Celtic Guardian. These are okayish cards. Probably the best card you're gonna get, like most powerful, is probably Blackland. You can get Mystical Elf, which is you know top defense. Celtic Guardian, Horn Imp, eh, Zombie Warriors, good for fusion. That's not too bad. Mammoth Graveyard, you can get Golden Mammoth of Goldvine. Um, to Rike again, just just more fusion monsters really. Um, I've got another cards like Ancient Jar and Mystic Lamp because those two get Yushioni, which is a really good card. Um, so I've mainly made up my deck is now kind of suited up for um, fusions, and of course because I've started this on the PC, I do have a different deck now, but I still kind of have a crap deck, but I've built up on it. Um, and actually, in this episode, um, I'm actually going to show you the password. And actually get a password for some cards, and um, I'm actually going to show you a memory card trick. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this isn't cheating because you can do this if you have free memory cards and you're not using Game Shark or whatever. Um, but there's a memory card trick to duplicate your cards, so I'm going to be doing this quite a lot, so it saves me time, and I don't have to worry about growing it as much and everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a password. I'm going to get up my password here. The first card I'm actually going to get, well, I'll put in the code, and uh, yeah, you shall see. If I can just uh, get the code up, there we are. So I'll move that up. This is just me moving my stuff about. All right, so two, one, four. One. Now remember I did say powerful cards tend to take a lot. So with that said, there's ways of getting around it. And that's by getting cards like Dark Elf. See, because Dark Elf has 2000 attack and 100 defense, it's basically the opposite of Mystical Elf. It costs 160. Now it's a fair amount, but because I've grown on a lot, I've already got 357. Um, star chips. So I'm gonna go ahead and get get that because that isn't actually too bad, really. Um, the only thing like um, it's a shame about the card shop and the you know password is that you can't actually like sell your cards. It would be nice if you could sell your cards for star chips. But unfortunately, you can't. Actually, gathered Mr. Galafa is exactly the same. She'd have 160 um, points. You can get her if you want. Look on the website to get the password. But to be honest. Because I find that most of the time, if I grind enough, I get Mystical Elf like three times. Um, and even, if, you know, for in Simon Mirror, and even if you get one Mystical Elf, if you do the duplicate, if you do the memory card trick, you can get free anyway. So, I ain't gonna get Mystical Elf. Oh, actually, no, no, I don't wanna do that. Anyway, I've got Dark Elf, I don't wanna do that. There's another card I wanna get. One more card. 
These are the only two because I'm pretty much set everywhere else. It's just kind of like building it up from there then really. And using the memory card tricks. So let's put this in. Jiraigumu baby and because it's got so little defense but high attack it's only 80 even less than Dark Elf but let's face it, the main thing really here is attack you want to reduce life points so I'd recommend getting Jiraigumu um, at the beginning of the game at least anyway definitely I would recommend getting it so here's the code anyway in case you don't want to look it up or anything is um nine four seven seven three zero zero seven and of course dark elf was on there as well if you want to get that so exchange and there we have it happy days all right so now i'm going to do the memory card trick now if i remember this if i can do this correctly uh... first thing i want to do is you want to at least have grinded a bit because you're going to need to take some stuff out basically you know the trading well we're gonna need to trade some stuff over so uh, basically I've kind of got what I want um, only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be a bit lazy and copy black land and how many funders do I have Uh, you know what, I think I'll leave it, I think I'll be alright, um, is there anything else? I think that's alright, I think that's alright, that'll do. Uh, and then obviously I just want to like say put that in. I would say that's it. Okay, save. Now the idea of course, if you're actually doing this on a PS1 or a PS2, you need free memory cards. Now what you want to do is you want to make a copy of this, of your current save data, and then you want a blank copy. So you, the third memory card, you start a new game, have a random deck, get a new trading card, because obviously you can't trade with the same trading code or whatever trading code. Then what you want to do is, um, you would then, um, obviously you've made a copy of your current you've got the new ones you've got two so you've got two of the same and one just fresh new one so obviously what you want to do is you want to take all the cards you want out of build deck and just leave it in you know in the out of, out of your deck and leave it out you know so blah 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 um, and then obviously save it and then you want to uh, make sure that memory card one with your current data and then memory card 2 with the new one with the fresh new one is in and then obviously what you want to do is you want to go into trade which I'm just about to show you now just save it again I don't know why just I'm like that so I've, I've set it up on the, this is a PC so it's a lot easier so we go to trade it picks up memory card 1 you notice this memory card 2 is a new code so it goes through like so and here we are. So obviously, if you haven't put anything here, then none of these would come up. I also got, <laughs> I also got the right arm of the forbidden one from him as well. Yeah, like I said, you, at least I should, at least I should have said, you you can get the pieces of Exodia from this guy. So yeah, in my uh, grinding, I got the right arm. So there you have it. Um, yeah. So obviously, basically, how this works is you press X to select your card. And that transfers over. I don't need to do anything onto the right personally. I mean, I think in theory you could have like two controllers or you could like swap the controllers out or whatever. Obviously, you want to be able to close the two player. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, I could do the right arm, but I don't really need it. So anyway, I got black land, I got that, I got that. Um, Jirai I think that's it Oh, I think that's it Yeah, but it should be 
Oh. Well, more recordings coming up all wrong. So yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much what you do from here on out. Hello everyone, we're back. So I've done this a few times, um, so I'm just going to quickly show you. I've got here. This is the second time I had to record this because I don't know. I just kind of said some things I shouldn't have said. So I've got now. I've got three Jirais, three Dark Elves, and three Blacklands. Yeah, and I'll probably keep doing this when I get better cards. Anyway, while well, we can actually move on to the story. Yes, hello card shop guy, he doesn't sell cards. Um, see ya. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> what sort of card shop don't sell cards? Anyway, um, we want to go to Dual Ground. We can't really go anywhere else. You could go to Pharaoh's Palace in theory, but we want to see some peeps, so let's let's not do that. I've been waiting for you, GBK. Oh, it's Taya. Jerry was also here a few minutes ago, but... Wait. I said Jerry. Damn it, I ruined it. Joe No is basically Joe anyway. But he's gone now. How about it all? For some reason, he's called Joe No. I don't really know. I guess short for Jonathan, maybe. Okay, let's play. Hope you're not a sore loser. Don't worry, I'm not I'm planning on losing. <laughs> even if you don't have, like... Jirogumu at least once, or Dark Elf, or even Blackland Fire Dragon. If you just use your preset deck, you could, you know, defeat Taya, but I figured, well, I'm going to need a better deck later on anyway, so I might as well grind on Summon Murang, because he's kind of the best person we can grind on at the moment, you know. Even if you do try to grind, you can't really get too many good cards with Taya. Um... So, you know, I would always recommend, at least at the beginning, unless you're going to cheat, um, I'd recommend getting Simon, uh, fighting Simon Murray, not skipping him, so that you can grind a little bit and uh, pick up some okayish cards at this point, and obviously just star chips as well. But you are going to grind on Taya. That sounds interesting, um, uh, and some other not so good guys. But to be honest, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother. I really wouldn't bother. You'd be wasting your You'll be wasting a bit of your time because obviously you can get star chips, but it's easier when you have a card you're aiming to get as in to win because then you end up getting star chips without you knowing it. You know, you, you're doing you're killing two birds with one stone basically. Fun fact: the Cybersaurus in the new GBK intro, which I'm sure you probably would have seen by now. Um, which I made, is not going to be shown in any of these parts. Reason being is because I'm now, obviously I've been doing it in my PC and everything, so um, it won't be shown now. So that's gone. But I will obviously be showing some animations, just animations I feel like it. If someone ends up, um, I don't know, requesting an animation, I mean, I'm going to be recording these things ahead of time anyway, but if someone ends up saying, oh, if you've got this monster, can I see this or something, then maybe later on down the line when I've still got recording to do, I'll, I'll do it. Ouch, looks like I lost. Yeah, you lost. You got owned, bitch. <laughs> I'll play your game when I get a little better. For real. I'll see you later. Anyway, you've got this dude here. Yeah, if you go, if you click on go outside, you uh, go with her to go find uh, Jerry. You know, there's some kind of festival going on in Town Plaza. But we'd rather play games right here, like we always do. Want to take me on? Come on, let's play a game. Do okay. Let's play a game. All right. Again, it's pretty much like Taya. Not, if any, trouble at all whatsoever. I don't think I've ever seen him fused either, to be honest. You can win pieces of Exodia from these, from like Taya and um, this guy and that. But, and I think from the next villagers as well. But I mean, 
you know, you can, but I feel like you have a better chance wing it, wing, wing it, winging it, yeah, winging it, winning it from um, watch and record it. I feel like you have a better chance winning it from um, Simon Moran himself. I tend to find I get like arms and legs. Well, I think I've I think I've got like maybe the right arm, the left arm, and the, like maybe the right leg. But I've never ever got the other leg or the head. I've heard apparently you can get it from this opponent later on, but I don't know. Um, ooh, excuse me, just had to sneeze. Um, but I'm not sure. Personally, I've never ever got all the pieces legitimately. And surprisingly enough, I've been grinding a lot. You know, I've, I've ground, I've ground a lot, grind, grounded, ground pound, Mario. I've been grinding a lot <laughs> in the past, and I've never managed to get the pieces. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. I start to wonder if you really can get all the pieces, to be honest. But I assume you can, I was a bit, a bit silly giving you any free. Well, well, let's play a game sometime. Indeed, I think it was a bit disappointed. <laughs> I won. Oh, hey, got this kid here. Hey, did you find yourself any rare cards? I managed to find a pretty good card myself. If you wanted, you don't have to beat me. But if you lose, you'll have to give me one of yours. Fair enough, dude. Alright, let's play. Challenge accepted. Now, this guy is actually... He can be tough. If you put a card in defense mode, he could... Fuse. He could get you Shoni, he could get Flame Cerberus, or he could completely own you and get Twin Headed Thunder Dragon with 2800 attack and 2100 defense. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon is the strongest card in the game. Now, if you've watched my Yu Gi Oh! Duels of the Roses playthrough, um, I think I did mention about it briefly. I don't know if I ever got him, but yeah, he's a lot easier to, you know, get in this game because, like I said, this game is fuse tastic. So, the best thing I would say to do is to either put a card face up or fuse off the bat. So then that way, right, so then that way he, um, that way he doesn't get the chance. If, if, if he doesn't know what you're putting face down or in a, or in face up and attack, or face face under an attack, I should say, he'll fuse because he'll think, oh, I might not be able to beat it. So I'm going to fuse and make sure I beat it, if that makes sense. So I would recommend just putting a card face up in defense or attack or fuse off the bat, if you can. So I'm just going to get Sword Arm of Dragon. Even though it's a dinosaur, it's a little weird. It's it, it's called Sword Arm of Dragon, but it's actually a dinosaur. But believe it or not, it's still classed as a dragon for fusions. So you can still fuse with this to get a dragon, I'm pretty certain. I've never tried putting a machine on it though, because in theory you'd get Cybersaurus. But you might get Metal Dragon, I'm not too sure about that actually. That that I will wonder. Yeah, sometimes certain cards with certain names will fuse with things you don't expect. Like for example, this card here is called Candle of Fate. It's a fiend monster, but it acts as a fire type for fusions. So, you can get Flame Cerberus. It's a little odd like that, but like I said, th this is why this game is very easy when it comes to fusions. Because you can, it kind of stretches the boundaries of, you know, instead of using the old fashioned way, which is, in theory, you'd have to use a poly polymerization card. Um, like in the later games, they're not so good, they're not so good GX games. But, um,. Which I may get, I may get to the first one of that. But um, yeah, this game is just literally, ooh, I reckon this will work, go for it, and you know, most likely it will. But Twin Edited Thunder Dragon is the strongest card you can fuse in the game. I think the second is Summon Skull, but Summon Skull is actually kind of hard to fuse. Like, there's specific cards for that. Whereas Twin Edit is pretty much Dragon Thunder, Dragon Thunder, Dragon Thunder, you know, pretty much. As long as the card is stronger than Thunder Dragon, and it's a dragon, and you give it Thunder, you've got Twin Edit, pretty much. So, that is why I got Black Land Fire Dragon copied over. And we've won, look at that. Now if I had to defend or put the card face down or whatever, I probably would have been screwed. And I would have got a game over, Wood Clown. 
Yeah, if you want to fight him, he's got um, he's stronger. It's, not only does he fuse, like the first person to go fuse happy, he actually um, he also has like stronger cards. Like instead of having like Shadow Spectre as the strongest card, he has like oh, Wood Cloud is a little bit stronger. He's got like cards with like seven hundred to twelve hundred attack. He's also got a Dragon Zombie and um, Armored Zombie. Um, which isn't too bad of cards, and you can actually win them from them if you want to grind. I'm probably not going to bother personally. I might do, but I very rarely get Dragon Zombie. It depends. Sometimes I can get them very quickly. Sometimes it takes me forever to get Dragon Zombie. You won. I guess I owe you a card. And personally, at this point, I've got a fairly decent deck anyway, so I might as well grind on someone else. No, my computer will not go to sleep. You won. I guess I owe you a card. There's a funny story about this guy. When I was younger, he fused to get Curse of Dragon twice, and I kept thinking to myself, so I'm going to have to defeat this guy so I can get Curse of Dragon. I was like, come on, please, and then I never got it, and I was like, what? I got like Bone Mouth or something, I was like, what? I was like, why? And I was like, wasn't that the rare card you were going to give me? And he was just like, I owe you a card. I'm like, yeah, Curse of Dragon, Curse of Dragon, Curse of Dragon. No. Oh, what? I was so disappointed when I was a kid. I honestly was. Um, to be fair, I think he's just talking about that side. He says, oh, yeah, you a card, but he, he doesn't give you anything. Unless you cast Dragon Zombie as a red card, which... I'm not sure. I think Dragon Zombie is, might be 999. Don't ask me why, but I'll have to check into that. That would be, be my only suggestion would be Dragon Zombie. For some reason, it's 9... You know, blah, blah, blah. Hence why it's rare, but... I don't know, I'm not not too sure. It's quite easy to get Dragon Zombie anyway, so... <laughs> you know, you can just fuse it. You talking to me, boy? You talking to me? You talking about old geezer? I got better things to do. Unless you wanna challenge me. Go on, then. Okay, boy, let's play. Now, this guy I never really felt like he really fused too often. I think it's a bit like Simon Moran. He will place a card on top of a card that's already down on the field. But he does have a like stronger cards in general. Like he's like the other dude. He has like cards like up to like eleven hundred, twelve hundred. He has a bit stronger cards. He's like thirteen hundred, maybe a couple of fourteen hundred cards. He doesn't have like dragon zombie or anything like that though. But I feel like I'm more confident. You can just place a card face down up or face down defense, and he won't fuse. He doesn't really fuse, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so there's cards like Cherubin off the bat, but he isn't too difficult. I would even probably go to say he's easier than the last guy. Uh, personally, in my personal opinion. Can I get a fusion out of this? Oh yeah, I can get a uh, Cybersaurus. Saurus, yeah. You never know, you might actually see the, um, the animation of the um, Cybersaurus, like in the intro. But, because I'm doing this on PC, chances are... You know, you won't. <laughs> it would be different anyway. It wouldn't be the same opponent. I'm actually going to show you Jirai Guma. I want to see what it looks like, actually. So, press square on the monster. And here we go. I think it's even a lot simpler than Doors of the Roses. You don't have to press L1 to, you know, switch between the two. You can just press square on the card and battle away. Oh, man. Look at that. Ugh. I would not like to meet that in the dark alley. Ugh. Spider's worst nightmare for me, man. Needle spray! Oh, you just got owned. It's got such high attack with such poor defense, but hey. The attack is the main thing in this game, pretty much. You want to reduce the life points, so... That's why we have cards like Clapperful and Millennium Shield. Haha. -ha. Which I'll probably will at least get one of those at some point. So, Turtle Raccoon. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. I reckon I lost. Looks like this just isn't my day. Yeah, so you can grind these guys, and if you want, you can get like cards like up to 1200 attack, and you might get dr Dragon Zombie. But I ain't too bothered about that, so. Thought I'd show you the guys. Anyway, we now want to go outside with Taya. 
and uh, do some business. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Hey, did you know that there is a festival going on in the town plaza? Come on, let's check it out. I hope, I hope it will find Jono there. Um, Joey. Um, all right, <laughs> we'll go with Jono. Wow, there's a, there's lots of people around. I don't, I don't see anyone. <laughs> It's just, just a weird shrine. Look, the mages are about to start their pro, pro, procession. Procession. Oh, there's the people. Awesome. Kind of spooky too. This must be the work of that detestable high mage, Haitian, Haitian. I never know how to say that. I'm gonna go with Haitian. It's Japan anyway, isn't it? Japanese. So. Haitian. Anyway, when I was a kid, it used to be more wholesome. Even the attitude of the mages have changed for the worse. What's our world coming to? Want to go someplace else? Um, <laughs> Yugi scratches his head. Let me think about that. <laughs> oh wait, she's dragging me away anyway. <laughs> oh look, look, it's Joey. I can't believe it. But but he's stalling over there. What's wrong with that? I, I lost. I believe I have wasted my effort on an insignificant speck. Well, who's this dude? Say what? Forgive me, I forgive my choice of words. You were <laughs> mildly entertaining. Hey, Joey. Oh, it's Taya and GBUK. What's going on? What do you think? Ain't it obvious? You lost. Don't be so blunt. I didn't lose. I had a setback. I grow weary of this insect. Is there not one among you that is worthy of my attention? If you look at him closely, you may know who we're looking at right now. Man, the nerve of this guy. Hey, GBUK, why don't you challenge him? After all, you're the best doors I've ever seen. I bet you could be him. Yeah. Oh, hello. Are you my next victim? If you say so, bro. I hope you are better than the last one. Come, let us duel. Master Seto, Master Haitian calls for you. Is that so? I see. So be it, the duel is postponed. Am I correct in assuming that you frequent the town's duel field? That's right. Then wait there, I shall grace you with a visit. Seto is my name, remember it. And there we have it folks, Seto Kaiba, Ancient Egyptian. You knew it was going to happen. Can you believe that guy? A mage with an attitude. For real. But, you know, his bill was still better than you, Jerry, sorry. <laughs> I got a feeling.